All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. It is time for another video. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man, Log TV and Choo Choo. And let's get started on the Knives Fast channel. All right, another fun video to do for you guys. Let's jump into this and uh, I am gonna do, and by the way, this is the Knives Fast channel. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe, that notification bell, check me out over on Instagram and let's roll here. So I'm gonna do 10 locking titanium knives and most of these are pretty premium. Some of them are a little lower, uh, but I'm not really doing them in an order. Heck, maybe at the end I'll narrow it down to like top three or top five or something. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna show these off. Well, you know I gotta start with the first one right next to me and that's gonna be my Artisan Arian, guys. This knife is fantastic. Blue fat carbon, titanium. I love this knife. It is kind of the channel mascot knife uh, with the blue there. Hey, what's going on? There we go. Uh, very, very cool spear point blade. So let's put that there and we're going to slip this over here. Uh, you know what has turned into pretty much my favorite knife in the collection is the Berg Blades Sweeney, guys. I absolutely love this knife. Uh, very, very fantastic knife. Uh, just got it recently. Uh, 20 CV and this gorgeous uh, kind of shred carbon fiber on titanium. Uh, some of these were still available recently, uh, whereas I can't say that with that blue Arian. They're not really available at this point. Another probably top, I mean, I'm already giving you, I think, the top here, pretty much. Uh, and this is the Quiet Carry 9. I really, 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 really am about to buy uh, the, the Drift Large, guys. Uh, I want that knife so bad. I've just been trying to be good budget-wise, but I'm probably going to break down and get it, hopefully before they're gone. But, I mean, Quiet Carry's just making fantastic knives. This is an absolute favorite with the Nebula Fat Carbon. The knurling up here, the milling at the top is so good. And the action on this thing is incredible. By the way, I didn't really go into that on the, uh, the Sweeney. The action is incredible. It flicks out there, drops. I mean, absolutely incredible. So these three are absolute favorites uh, on the channel. Now, next is... The Concept Fenrir, this was actually given to me by Tori Casey. Uh, really cool knife. This has got uh, titanium and inlay of natural micarta. This beautiful blade from uh, Sparrow uh, Design, Sparrow Blade Works, or Sparrow Knife Works, which is, I don't know. Very cool knife. Uh, love the blade shape. The action, whoops, the action is really, really nice as well. All right, we're going to do the first five, and then I'll clear these out and do five more. And then carry this one yesterday. This is the Tuya NVV4. I actually reviewed this and then won it from the pass around group. Heck, who knows? I may, uh, I don't know. For now, it's staying in the collection. But it's this gorgeous Warncliffe blade with a really nice satin finish. You've got titanium bead blasted here with this copper carbon fiber, which is the best copper carbon fiber I've seen. This is the best Tuya knife I've seen, in my opinion. Uh, I haven't seen them all, but this is the best one I've seen. Uh, contoured scales. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you look, all of these have contoured scales. So uh, what does that say? Uh, but anyway, so all right, we're going to set these five over here. I'm going to just leave them open for now. And then we're going to give you five more. Now, this one's a little less premium, but still cool. This is the um, traditionalpocketknives.com exclusive QSP large penguin in jig titanium. So good. Great size. Beautiful finish on it. Has uh, flipper tab and thumb studs. Has this beautiful uh, milling jigging here that makes the knife lighter and slimmer, which I think is a fantastic addition. Uh, the next one is a lightning anode uh, inlay of, of, of titanium on a titanium frame of the Concept Shard. Uh, this thing is so cool. You also have uh, lightning anode on the clip. Uh, really, really cool. Fantastic knife. Love that reverse tanto blade shape and the hole there. 
Then you have, uh, yeah, the uh, Jack Wolf Knives Gunslinger, guys. In Arctic Storm Fat Carbon, Titanium, Fluting. It is the only locking Jack Wolf at this moment in time until he changes that. You can middle finger flick it with that, um, with the uh, long pull there. Excellent, excellent knife. Again, another one that's not quite as uh, premium. This is the Devo Knives uh, Mash in uh, titanium and blue hardware and this gorgeous looking blade, which is kind of a sheep's foot, kind of a reverse tanto, whatever you want to call it. Beautiful, good knife. Uh, it was a very affordable option. Really, really nice. And then another Devo uh, the, whoops, <laughs> the Stout. Wow. Uh, the original Stout. I do not have a Stout V2. I want to get one, but I just, I can't buy everything and I've already reviewed it. Uh, and you guys know we got this harpoon thing here. Great place to land your thumb. You have micarta, just a gorgeous looking knife. So well finished and done, done by QSP for Devo Knives. I am not going to fit all 10 of these up here, uh, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these down, and I'm going to give you guys my top five now. Okay, so that's all the knives, and I'm going to give you my top five. All right, so let's start with five. Um, uh, boy, this is going to be hard. Uh, top five, top five, top five, top five. Yeah, um, I think it's got to be number five is the stout. Uh, I love the stout. I love the blade shape. I have broken down so many boxes with that knife. It's unbelievable, and it just edges out the Fenrir and the Shard. Just edges them out. The Shard doesn't have, you know, I wish it had just a little bit better detent. Um, otherwise, it'd be there. The Fenrir is a great knife, but just not quite as good as the stout. All right, number four is the Tuya NVV4. Uh, gotta love it. Man, this is gonna be so hard. And guys, I'm ranking these not based on them being a mascot, but based on quality of the knife. This, uh, the, the, the Artisan Arena has to go here <coughs> at number three. And now you know what it comes down to, and this is gonna be very difficult. So it comes down to, I haven't, I'm not ranking them yet, to the nine and the Sweeney. Um, shoot. All right. Yep. We're going to go nine here and we're going to go Sweeney at number one. It's just so thin, so good in the hand. Uh, no unneeded jimping. Yes. That's my opinion. You guys, I know you like it. Um, and, and you know, I like jimping too. It's just not necessary on this knife. Um, great action, fantastic fit and finish. Um, and man, these are like one and one a really, if I have to rank them, they're one and one a, and if I get a drift large, I bet it's going to be right in here as well. So there are the top 10 or the 10 favorite, uh, titanium locking knives in my collection. And there are the top five. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, just trying to give you guys some different content here and there. Let me know if you like this type of content and I'll keep trying to do some more as much as I can. Man, the lighting is wonky there. There we go. And, uh, so let me know what you guys think. How would you have ranked them? What are your top five locking titanium knives? Uh, give me a thumbs up and a comment and all the things like comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you so much for all your support, guys, and for watching The Knives Fast Channel.